Today we are going to discuss the Collier Coat of Arms, but before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First Collier Coat of Arms to discuss, shown here, is associated with the Colliers of Darlaston in County Staffordshire, England. Robert Collier was gifted a coat of arms in the 16th century. He was son of James Collier, who died in 1548, and the grandson of Robert Collier, who died in 1505 and had come to England from France. Here we have the coat of arms of the Barons Monkswell. In the county of Devon, it was a title in the peerage of the United Kingdom created in 1885 for the lawyer and liberal politician Sir Robert Collier, shown here, born 1817. He was the eldest son of John Collier, merchant of Plymouth and a member of Parliament, grandson of John, and the great-grandson of Joseph T. Collier, born 1692. Here we have a list of the Barons Monkswell, all the way through the fifth Baron, who died in 2020. Next, we have a coat of arms confirmed and a crest confirmed in 1629 to Francis Collier of Darlaston, same family from before. Looks like he obtained a new coat of arms. It was also born by the Vice Admiral Edward Collier, born 1783, who was born in Blockley, co Worcestershire, and was Knight Commander of the Bath in 1865. Here we have the coat of arms of the Colliers of Yarlet and Staffordshire. Christopher Collier, alive in the year 1664, was son of Christopher, the same location, grandson of Edward of the same location, and the great-grandson of Christopher Collier of Yarlet, who died in Ireland, and the 2 ex great grandson of Robert Collier of Darlaston. Coat of arms of Sir George Ralph Collier, born 1772. He was an officer in the Royal Navy during the French Revolution and Napoleonic Wars, as well as the War of 1812. He was created a baronet in 1814. The baronetcy was essentially a hereditary knighthood. Here we see Sir George Ralph Collier. And in 1818, he was sent to West Africa with an order to use every means in your power to prevent a continuance of the traffic in slaves. He was the son of Ralph Collier, the chief clerk of the Vitulating Board of the Navy. Another coat of arms confirmed in 1586 to Richard Collier of Puddle Trent Hyde in County Dorset, son of John Collier, grandson of Henry Collier, and it was also granted to his brethren and later on, there was William Collier, alive in 1623, of Pottle, Trenchard. One from Dorsetshire. It was also born with the arms of hawks by Reverend William Bengo Collier, born 1782, who we see here, of Peckham, Surrey, and Lutterworth, the son of Thomas Collier, a builder of Deptford. Another Collier from Ireland, said to be the arms of William Collier, a judge from Ireland. Another from Ireland, wasn't able to find any additional information on this one. If you know, please let us know in the comments. A coat of arms found on a monument in Cambridge, and it belonged to William Collier, alive in the year 1771. He was professor of Hebrew at Trinity College at Cambridge, and this arms and crest are also associated with Scotland. Coat of arms of the Earls of Portmore. Earl of Portmore was a title created in the Peerage of Scotland in 1703 for the Scottish military commander, Sir David Collier, first Lord Portmore, he had already been created Lord Portmore in 1699 and was made Lord Collier and Viscount of Milsington at the same time, and he was granted the earldom also in the Peerage of Scotland. He was the son of Alexander Collier, who had been created a Baron of Holland 
in the Baronetage of England in February 1677. Here we have a list of the Colliers all the way through the fourth Earl who died in 1835. Sir Alexander Collier, the first baronet, I believe previously bore the name Robinson or Robertson. So there was a surname change at some point. One from France, Collier de la Marley. They descended from Germain Collier, born 1572, advisor, secretary to the Crown of France and clerk at the Registry of the Grand Council, who was knighted in 1612 and was Lord of Fresno. He had a son named Simon Collier de la Marley, born in 1628. And later on came Leopold, who was a stockbroker active in Madrid. Another from Sassons, France, associated with Nicholas Collier, knight, Lord of Plessis Briand, and also born by his wife Marie Lee Fabure. Another from Flanders. One from Switzerland. Collier von Lasagne, found in a book dated 1660. And one more from Sweden, Collier, same family, found in a book dated 1791. Did I say Sweden? I meant Switzerland. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com. Link in the description. Thank you very much.